Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here. We're actually going to go over a few things that I found at the counters at the Goodwill. We're going to test for Bakelite. Again, I found that red bangle sitting over there on the right and my latest jar and I kind of thought it was interesting when I pulled it out. It felt a little weighty for a plastic bangle. So uh, last time I tested something Bakelite, one of my subscribers said that if it would have been Bakelite, it would have been substantially heavy. So I'm going to take that into account. But welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. I think you'll really like the content here. We do a lot of talk about jewelry, but we also just love treasure hunting in general. So if you love to thrift and love to beautiful find items that we love to enjoy around our homes, accessories, and of course, always jewelry. I think you will like the content here. So be sure and give it a thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. The subscription button is on the right. It's always a free subscription. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you some things that we found in the last jar that I updated as far as testing. I think I showed you this when I opened a beautiful, and please forgive my hands, they are so dry with this weather. This beautiful bar necklace that I got from a friend in a friend mail, Pamela, and it says believe, and we weren't sure if it was sterling, but it did have sterling written on the ring, and I did test everything, and it is sterling silver, and it's really beautiful. I really like it a lot. Beautiful chain on that, just a little rope chain, no, kind of a rollo chain, very delicate chain. So I love that. That is really a nice piece. Garments that I got this week. This also came out of the jar, and if you'll recall, one of the hooks was missing, and it was marked 0.999. And then I think it had GP, and someone said it could have been some designer named Giuseppe or something like that. I'll have to research that, but I know these are... Chalcedony and they are definitely sterling silver. They may be higher, but I can only grade for sterling silver. I wouldn't don't have anything to test for 0.999 pure silver, but these are amazing. I did polish them up a little bit. They uh, they appear to be cast, if I'm not mistaken. They are really, really beautiful and not very heavy. And that lovely color of chalcedony. Isn't it beautiful? Chalcedony. <laughs> Chalcedony, yeah, you guys, I always get confused with the pronunciations and everyone pronounces things differently, but you guys understand me, I'm sure. All right, here's a beautiful one that I got off of a YouTube auction. I adore this piece. This is a beautiful piece of turquoise, unsigned, of course. Very, very likely a vintage piece from um, 70s or earlier and wonderful little kind of a play on a dream catcher there. Just so beautiful. It reminds me of a pool of water or lake or something. It's just the most beautiful color I've ever seen. I did clean that up a bit and that came out a very long rope chain. I am wearing it right now on a torque and I just adore it. And that is just amazingly beautiful quite heavy as well so i just wanted to show you that i did test these for sterling these also came out of my last jar they did test positively for sterling and we did see the mark only on the backs but i tested the backs and i tested the earrings they're gorgeous filigree they really are pretty i think you can see them better on this backing here isn't that beautiful they are just amazing really nice work on those so i was super pleased to have those pop out of a jar how amazing is that that was just so cool i also tested the um, gold beads on here this is definitely a beautiful malachite they are genuine pearls and i tested the beads this was not the easiest thing i kind of took the bar and just did a simple little scratch off the side i actually used the bar to scrape against the bead it was not you know without harming it but it's definitely 14 karat gold beads on those so oh, i'm so happy about that those are awesome really really beautiful now uh let me show you what else i got from the counters and then we'll end with the bakelite uh what i suspect to be bakelite all right i got these beautiful earrings and these are in need of these were ten dollars they are in need of a hook one of them needs a hook but i always have these on hand every time i find a single earring i make sure that uh, i know where they are so i can replace any of the um missing wires or hooks and these i did give a slight polish to they were quite dark but i love them they're quite dimensional they are simply mark 925 and those were ten dollars at the goodwill usually the pink tags indicate boutique item which they price them a little bit higher accordingly to to their uh perceived value so those were ten dollars that day i really love them they're very pretty 
kind of, I don't know, Art Nouveau style to me with all those swirls and the little chirrups and stuff. Those are cute. And then I got, uh, well, I got the James Avery ring. I found out this is called Combined Hearts, I believe. It is a retired piece. I think I did see it on eBay selling for around $60. $50 to $60, of course, comps are everywhere. But I love it. It fits me perfect. I'm not even sure if I want to part with it. I just really, really like it. I'm wearing it with that other little uh, CZ or whatever that is that I found in the jar, the little heart shape. I like that as well. <laughs> so I may be keeping those. But yeah, that was in this bag for $9.99. A uh, fabulous James Avery. And let me show you that mark in case you're not familiar. This is an artisan here, based here in Texas, out of Kerrville, Texas. And uh, all of their items are hand wrought here in Texas. So you will never see it marked, made anywhere else. All it says usually is Avery or it has the candelabra. Hope you can see that. Or it has the candelabra marking on it. I'm not even sure what this one says, but I suspected it when I saw it and it was quite dirty. It was quite dirty when I picked it up, but I just kind of recognized the style because Avery tends to do, I think this one just says Avery, let me check. Avery does a lot of knotted hearts, a lot of romantic jewelry. Okay, this one, interesting, this one is marked Sterling. I think some of the ones I saw on eBay, they said they were marked with the candelabra, so this might be an earlier version of it. I just really love the way this one is, inner, kind of, it's very heavy, I think it's six grams actually. There it is, okay. There it is. It's marked simply with the word Avery, the copy mark, mark, copyright C, and then spelled out S-T-E-R. I believe I paid $3 for these beautiful cufflinks. I'm quite intrigued with anything mid-century, and these are Pierre Cardin. So I just love them. I think they're gorgeous. I may one day wear them. <laughs> I will. I absolutely will. I think they're amazing. And then I'll probably list them. I think they're really pretty. They're black enamel with gold. I hope you can see how pretty those are. They are just so nice. Great condition as well. I found this belt for $3. I love the concho belt. I love Western wear and Western motif, Southwest. To me, belts are like jewelry, actually. I love this concho because it has the mini ones all around it. And I was hoping it might be sterling. I really didn't open it up or anything um it's possible because i have found these in sterling silver at least two or three times and one i just gave to my daughter my middle daughter and they were all small like this and they were indeed all sterling silver but this one is not but it's just as nice i really love the mini ones here in the back really cute i love these with denim dresses and of course with, of course with jeans and all of that and all the time, not just at rodeo time. So I got that. Then this one, I believe this one was in this bag over here. And how much was this one? Okay, I think, no, this one was $4.99. Oh, this one has a price on the back. All right, yeah, this one had the price on the back, $7.99. I just really like it. It's silver tone, but it looks very much like a vintage 70s or 60s piece it actually reminds me a little bit of something that i would see from sarah coventry or from whiting and davis this little mark right here these little etchings always remind me of whiting and davis pieces these are just little acrylic stones but i love the little uh feathery motifs there they're super pretty they kind of give me a little bit of a western vibe i don't know they're just so nice and a little bit of an art nouveau as well so that was not bad and i think i got a discount that day so i got it about for i think i got it for about five dollars but even at eight dollars even at ten dollars i think it's a gorgeous bracelet it really is but it was marked 7.99 so that is really super i love it i think it looks great a little it's in need of a cleaning but it's pretty all right, so, oh, vinyl, I didn't show you this. I almost forgot. This is a really nice one. And I did not see the marks until I got home, but I suspected it was amber and sterling, and this was marked 
for $14.99 so it was a little up there but uh, for sterling and amber I don't think so and it has quite a few marks which means me leads me to believe it could be um, that it's not American it's got quite a few marks on it I'm not sure though and a little bit of uh, debris in there interesting debris as well some of those ring lights are in the way there but uh, see it has like little inclusions of course of the insect variety and all of that but that that orangey spot in there those are natural too I'm not sure what that is beautiful color though the light really makes it glow beautifully and let me show you the hallmarks and these are very obscure so let me find them and then I'll bring it up close okay interesting the marks are actually on the squirrel mark on the squirrel design okay the marks are actually down here on the scroll and they say 925 and then it has kind of a scale with the 925 in the middle and then on the other side it says GM and then it has another little logo symbol that I cannot make out almost looks like a crown and then it says 925 again and then it actually says 35 in another little cartouche so several cartouches in here and uh, several marks and I'll let you look at that right there on the scroll right there so let me know what you know about those marks and what you've seen in this kind of a piece I'm just really happy that I found a brooch I don't find amber brooches very often and there they are there. I hope you can see that okay. Yeah, so it's got like four marks actually. And there's the inside of the amber. You see those yellow, uh, no, those little shadow circles? Those are interesting. Very pretty piece. I like the little scroll work on that. Kind of S swirls and scrolls. Of course, those are just my ring lights there. Then now let's test this gorgeous bangle that popped out. I did do a preliminary test earlier, and I did it on. Um, I did it with the chrome, and I did it with a little, uh, like a polishing cloth, because it was handy. So I was like, well, it was clean, but and I also, and it it's tended to to turn yellow. I mean, uh, kind of a tobacco stain brown. So I'm going to do it again. Like uh, I think we had talked about this before to put a little bit on the piece. So I put some here and then I'll put a little bit on the piece from here. And then we will rub it off with a clean area of the, um, of the bracelet. And see how it turns. Whereas before, when I did that other one, I did the, um, let me try it over here again. When I did the one with the, um, whoops, the um, jewelry box, it remained pink pretty much. But no, I, and then I did do kind of a, a rubbing test and it did have a funky little smell, which I don't really know what formaldehyde smells like, honestly. I've never been around it, but kind of a chemically smell so I'm really suspecting this is Bakelite look see like really really bright I'm really happy if it is guys let me know if if you think it is with this test this is definitely a color change that I was not seeing with the other items that I use and I have only found one other bake well that I know of I'm gonna start looking at all my bangles now <laughs> that I suspected was Bakelite and that was just a really plain kind of a cream kind of like the color of my cloth here cream colored um, bangle so when I saw this red one I was excited because I felt like it felt really weighty remember I said it was glass that I thought it was glass because it was so heavy for its for its size you know it's surprising like when you pick up a small watermelon and it's like really heavy and they say those are the best watermelons, right? And that's what that's doing. It's turning it brownish from pink. So um, I think I have Bakelite. 
What do you think? What do you think? That's what I think because I got a nice stain on that. All right, well, you let me know, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I will do a couple more videos for you recorded because we are very iffy with our electricity. I'm in and out. We are inundated with all kinds of issues here with our weather in Texas. I appreciate all the phone calls and the uh, wonderful notes reaching out to me, asking me how I am and offering help. And I just cannot thank you enough for your wonderful gestures of friendship. I appreciate it so much. I really, really do. And I can't wait to come live with you again when we get things situated a little bit better. But of course, I told you I was going to bring you recorded videos anyway, because I think people like the convenience of them. And uh, sometimes they can be a little shorter and we don't have to sit through tangles and all of that. But some of us love tangles. So we'll be back to that mayhem soon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so. Please be sure and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.